we're going to be talking about how to create tests in the Test Explorer. So we're going to we're at the home page after you log on, click on the Test Explorer button. And you're going to see that there's two parts to this um, screen. The top part is the available tests that we have from ESGI. And if you look at Show All, you're going to see that there are 22 pages with at least 8 to 10 different tests per page. There's quite an extensive amount of tests that can be uh, reviewed and looked at and then um, made your own. And so if you find something that you like after previewing it, so I'm going to show you a test that I created first and it's the parts of a plant and I'm going to preview it so that you can look at it. And I created this test so that the children can identify in the science unit the different parts of the plant and when we preview it we don't get to see that their answers left would be a Y and right would be an N for yes or no. But you have directions to tell them to point to the stem and the child should point to the stem. And then depending upon their answer it will continue on pointing to the petal and so forth. So they have six different um, parts of the plant to look at and identify and then you have that data reported. Um, so that's something that's uh, in there available if anybody ever wants to use it. There's a lot better tests out there uh, obviously. Look through here and preview them and find what you like and then if you find something that you like you can drag it and drop it from the top part of the available tests into the bottom part in your testing. So if I wanted to take uppercase letters, for example, I just drag it by the test name and drop it in to my screen. I already have this, so it will tell me that I already have it. It'll be a duplicate, so I'm not going to put it up there. Um, once you have them here, you can um, edit them, and you can edit them into the different subjects that you want. So if you want to create term 1 report card and then term 2 report card and term 3 report card and based on the, the language arts and mathematics you can do that as well. So you have that option. Right now we're going to add a new test. So you can see how to add a new test and I'm going to create a test called Concepts of Print. And my subject tab is going to be I'm going to test this in term 2 and my content areas, language arts, and they, the really great thing about ESGI is they have all of the Common Core standards already available. And so if you look down here at the very last one, it says identify, this is under reading informational text. Identify the front cover, the back cover, and the title page of a book. And so I'm going to have that. And then I can add a new question in. When I add a new question, it comes up with this blank, black, gridded screen. I have to give it a title so I can give it a question number one. And then I can give directions. So my directions could be for the student. And then, so I have the student point to the front cover. I can add an image from the image gallery and I downloaded these, I uploaded these two images and so you have to have very small files. All I did was take a picture with my camera of the front cover of a book and I opened the book so I could have the whole book uh, available for the child to look at and now I can take this picture and it shows up right here and I can put it anywhere on the screen I would like. I'm going to place it right there and then what I want to do is add text to it so that I can say point to the front cover. And I can change the style of the font, I can change the size of the font, and I can change the color of the font. And if you don't know the number and letter si style of it, you can look at this palette and change the palette color and then add it. You can see that this is obviously too big at 60 point. So once it's there, I have to move into the test text properties and I can change it to a smaller font size and hit apply and then I can rearrange it and make it where I want it to go and then it's there. If I didn't like the font 
size I can change it back or the, the color I can change it so that it's a different color that or a different style and then rearrange it so it's centered and then I can save the question in and add another or just save the question or close and not save at all I'm going to put in uh, question number two and the same directions apply and it also is in the same standard and I'm going to grab the image that I had uploaded before the same image and again place it where I want it to go and then give directions I have the student point to the back cover and now I want to change it to the same style that I had before makes them go cuckoo if they see two different fonts I'm going to change the um, size of the font size and again I can go in and make it any color I want giving it a little variety because that black screen can get pretty dull to see over and over and so I can have that like that and then I can click on save the question if I want to add more questions to this maybe I want to talk about how the child discuss who the author is and the illustrator and I could add those in um, I can manipulate the questions up or down so if I want question number two to be up one or down question number two is now up and question number one is down I could put it on randomize so that if I'm testing one child at a table group and then I go to the child right next door and test them they could be random so they don't get the same questions in order I can preview my test and see how it looks point to the front cover it all the pictures are very tiny the kids don't seem to mind and then have the student point to the back cover so right now I have two questions for concept of print and I can save my test and close my test can be shared in that same testing screen and you can see the test that I created and you'll find that concept of print is the last one when I you can preview it and um, only the author of the test can make changes to it and add to it however you could make a test similar and use the same things because once the images are in the program they're there forever so that is basically how to make a test and then you can manage your subjects so I have all the subject tabs here and if I want to change the tabs I can change them I can rearrange them so that they're in a specific order on my screen by selecting them and I can add uh, the image gallery uploading anything that I want pictures that I've taken or any other thing so that is how to create a test thank you